Hello everybody, I am Bishop Kakabaire. This Christmas, I have a wonderful suggestion for you. The perfect Christmas gift. Three of my books, personally autographed by me, that you can send around the world to your loved ones and friends. It will be a blessing to you. I want you to just order this book and we'll deliver it worldwide to whoever you want to send a Christmas greeting to. My announcer will be coming with details of this wonderful offer. God bless you and have a lovely Christmas. Option 1. Buy all three books for a bundle deal of 75 CDs with delivery to any location in Ghana. International. Buy all three books for $30 with free standard delivery. Option 2. Buy any two books for a bundle deal of 55 CDs with delivery to any location in Ghana. International. Buy any two books for $20 with free standard delivery. Option 3. Buy one book for 35 CDs with delivery to any location in Ghana. International. Buy one book for $12 with free standard delivery. Place your order on Facebook by posting promo at the comment section or message window. International free delivery applies to locations within the UK, US, Canada, Europe, Asia and South Africa. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra begins an insightful new series titled Spiritual Protection. Yesterday, he introduced the key scripture, the story surrounding the birth of Christ. Today, he expounds on the threats Jesus faced, even as a little baby. Let's join in. This morning, I want to share on spiritual protection. Just on the spiritual protection. This is a Christmas story. And in this story, one of the things that we learn about this story is that we learn about spiritual protection. Once you can deploy spiritual protection, you can survive any attack, even from the powerful. This little baby, without an army, survive. How? Spiritual protection. A man once told me, he said, I went somewhere because I needed protection and money. So he said they brought a calabash, something like a cup, and they poured water in it. And they said to him, an image will appear in the water. The image that you see, they said to him, that is the person you must sacrifice. So the man said, when he looked in the water, do you know what he saw? He saw his son. When he saw his son, he said, he told the, the man, he said to him, look, I cannot sacrifice my son. And then he said, the weak doctor told him that. If you can't sacrifice your son, then you are the sacrifice. The man was looking for protection. But the price was too high. So he couldn't sacrifice his son. So he left. And the man told him, you would die in three days. He was given three days to live. That was when he came to look for me. So when I met the man, Reverend Brian bought him. The man was crying. Grown up. Responsible man, nice man, but he was weeping like a baby. I said, what's the problem? He said to me, I am supposed to die today. I said, who told you? <laughs> then he told me this story. So I led the man to Christ and I prayed for him. And I said, you won't die. I said, if you die, I will be surprised. She was supposed to die in the night. And the man told me, I won't go home. I said, so what will you do? He said, I will sit in front of your office. I said, sit there. <laughs> the following day when I came, the man was alive, was sitting there this time, was smiling. <laughs> Put the hands together for Jesus. The deadline had passed. So when Jesus was born, the Bible says he was surrounded by enemies and problems. Number one, he had powerful human enemies. His enemy was not an ordinary person. It was a king called Herod. 
In life, as you move up, the more you meet powerful enemies. They are richer than you, stronger than you. It's at that point that you realize that you need spiritual protection. Acts 4.27 says, Against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, but Herod, Pontius Pilate, the Gentiles, and the people of Israel were gathered together. Look at the lineup. Herod, president, Pontius Pilate, regional minister, the Gentiles, the wicked unbelievers, and the people of Israel, countries, were against him. And one of the most dangerous enemies you can have is insecure people. How can a baby plot a coup against you? Sometimes there are people in your office, as soon as they bring a new person, they feel so insecure, they undermine you and make, make sure that you don't do well at your workplace because they feel that you are out there to take their position. Jesus was not threat to Herod. But insecure people see everybody as a threat. That's what makes them dangerous. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that like the baby Jesus, we need spiritual protection from formidable human beings. Join us in turn tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we leave, here's a praise report to boost your faith in the Lord. Healed of heart problem. Hello, Kakra. A few days ago, I requested prayer for my mom who complained about her heart and you replied that you had prayed for her. Thanks be to God, she is healed. She goes about her normal duties without any complaint or difficulties. I give God all the praise. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 790 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.